Hey guys, today we're going to be going over the best Quillfish build for our raids on Pokemon Scarlet and Violet. It is going to be a support build. Let me show you where to get Quillfish real quick. So what you want to do is you want to put a waypoint right here on the map and then you want to fly over to East Province Area 1 Watchtower. Once you're here, just make your way over. So you're going to be searching for a little bit around this area. Okay, so we found our Quillfish. Now all we need to do is catch it. It doesn't matter what terror it is because we won't be terrestrializing in the actual raids because we could lose coverage for a certain type. Let me show you where I am on the map real quick I'm right around here now the item we're going to be using is the leftovers we're not going to be doing that much damage because we're a support Pokemon so we've got that regaining health all the time let me show you where to get the leftovers so what you want to do is you want to fly over to Cascraf and North and you want to come over here to the Deli Bird shop you want to click on battle items and then you can get the leftovers for 20,000 the leftovers will regain 6.25 percent of our health after every single turn now now I want you to fly over to Lavincia North. Once you're here, I want you to go this way and go all the way to the end of this path and you'll find a black and green shop. It's the Chansey Supply Shop. Now we're gonna be buying the Calm Mint, which is up in special defense and down in attack. Once you've done this, it's time for the EVs. Now the EVs we're gonna be using are special defense and HP. And the ability we're going to be using is Intimidate. This lowers the opponent's attack by one stage every time we go into battle. So this will help massively against those physical attackers now it is a hidden ability so you will need an ability patch to get this and to get an ability patch you will need to do six or seven star raids now our moves are going to be chilling water acid spray acupressure and stockpile as you can probably tell even though our physical attack is better we're using special attack this is because we have the moves acid spray and chilling water both special attacks now acupressure and stockpile we will learn from level up so you don't need to worry about those two as for acid spray and chilling water however we will need tms to learn these now to get tms just come to any pokemon center it's the green section which is the tm machine now we're going to be learning chilling water first which will cost 3000 lp free psyduck downs and free circuit syrups let me show you where to get those so to get your psyducks you want to come right here on the map so just fly over to paco path lighthouse and then make your way over to the bridge there'll be a lot of psyduck here you just want to take them out and you will get your psyduck downs now a little bit up from here you want to be going to Mesa Goza South and when you get here we're just going to be jumping off the side here into this water and if you look around this area you will find your Surskits. There we go there's one. So we're going to take that out and we will get our Surskit syrups. Now for TM13 Acid Spray we're going to need 800 LP, free Toxel Sparks and free Weeper Slimes. So to get our Toxel Sparks you're going to want to fly over to Alphanada and then we're going to be heading this way and you're going to keep heading this way until you run into some green area of grass. So right around here and you're just going to be looking around here for toxicities there's one so we're going to take the toxicity out and then we'll get our toxil sparks now to find our whoopers we're going to head right here so what you want to do is you want to fly to puckle path lighthouse and then make your way over once you make it to these two little ponds over here you'll find whooper over here as you can see there he is on the side of the pond we're just going to take him out and that'll get us our whooper slime now that i've shown you where to get the moves i'm going to go over them real quick so chilling water is for them physical attackers we attack the opponent it lowers their attack by one stage it don't really matter how powerful they are because we're not going to be doing that much damage anyway acid spray is going to be our main attacking move whenever you attack it lowers the opponent's special defense by two stages so if you've got even one special attacker on your team it's going to be huge acupressure is going to sharply increase one of your allies stats so choose the ally and it'll choose a stat at random now if you find the right ally and just keep using acupressure on them this can come in really clutch and it can win you a lot of raids and we're going to use stockpile at the start of the raid just so we don't take as much damage if we come into a tough opponent stockpile increases our defense and special defense by one stage so these moves along with intimidate are going to be really strong make sure you have max ivs though if you don't know where to get max ivs all you have to do is come to any deli bird shop click on general goods and they'll sell bottle caps for twenty thousand each one bottle cap equals one perfect iv so it's five for a full pokemon which will cost you a hundred thousand poker dollars and then you want to head over to montenevra once you're here we're going to be heading this way to the guy with the Obama snow speak to him he will hyper train your Pokemon and then pick your Pokemon click bottle caps and you will do HP defense special attack special defense and speed and now we're good to go there's the build let's get into the raids because it's a support Pokemon we're going to be going online to actually support three other people at random there was no six star raids available there was only two five star raids so I chose the one where we get the 
him most rewards. And that was a five star fighting type Dondozo. Now his yawn might be a little bit of a problem here. Now our Intimidate is going to come off clutch straight away because he is a physical attacker. Now we're going to start off with an Acid Spray to lower that special defense by two stages because I know that Fluttermane is a special attacker and it is strong against him. So these Dazzling Gleams will do more and more damage as the raid goes on and I know that Dondozo doesn't really have anything strong against me so I can just keep healing up with my leftovers. So the Dondozo uses Rain Dance. I'm just going to use Acid Spray again to lower that special defense by two more stages. He uses Heavy Slam, does nothing. I'm going to use it again. That's two more stages down. And then the uh, Flutter Mane is going to use Dazzling Gleam. It's going to do a lot of damage. The Slow King is going to do a lot of damage with Stored Power. And the Shield Breaks. Dondozo has used Stockpile, however. Now the Flutter Mane is taking a lot of damage, so we're going to Acupressure the Slow King. See if we can get the special attack. We get the defense. It's still not terrible. It nullifies all the stat changes affecting our side. And then the Flutter Mane uses one last attack to take down the Dondozo. So that's the first Pokemon down. It went as the first Pokemon down. It went very well. Did we get any rewards? Well, look at all them Mysticas. We got three Mysticas and a bottle cap. The things you see. We managed to find a six star raid this time. Let's see how it goes. Now, the good news is we do have a special attacker on the team. So that's great. Now, the biggest challenge here is going to be the Spore. He does have Aerial Ace, which is super effective against the Coriden in the game. Our Intimidate activates as soon as we get in the fight. This will lower his attack. We're going to get straight in with the Acid Spray to lower that special defense because I'm guessing that Lady Luna will just spam Torch Song. Our Speed Falls, that's fine. It has Throat Spray, so it's a special attack has just gone up. This can't go any better at the minute. So a Torch Song, that should do a lot of damage. It does a decent amount of damage. The Coriden is now asleep. It does have a berry though to wake it up. It attacks us three times in a row. That's great. We can get a third Acid Spray off and then Torch Song does a lot of damage, as you can see. Now the Skelly Dirge has fallen asleep, so it's our job to wake it up. That's where all the damage in this raid is coming from. I hope that they wait until I've woken them up before they do anything. It uses grassy terrain. So I'm going to heal now. Uh, Lady Luna does wait for us to heal and wake them up before they attack. I think so anyway. We're getting some decent damage away. We're just chipping away at that shield. We get put to sleep this time. That is fine though. We're going to wait it out. And if the Skelly Dirge falls asleep, I'm going to wake it up. As you can see, we didn't need to use stockpile in this fight and we're taking no damage. Okay, other people have fallen asleep now. I'm going to heal. Now, I'm not sure whether he removed all negative effects from himself. A double heal, someone else healed as well. The wasted heal, but that's no problem. We should be fine still. The Torch Song is only doing a tiny bit, so it looks like he did remove negative effects from himself, so I'm going to use Acid Spray again. There's the Acid Spray. That should lower the special defense by two stages. It does. They should make it quicker. Now, the reason I'm prioritizing in the Skelly Dirge is because it's the only special attacker here and with my Acid Spray it will do the most damage by a mile. However all our team got nullified so that's not good. Lady Luna's got put to sleep so we're going to use our last heal. This should heal the Garchomp and the Coriden as well because they were a bit low. And then the Skelly Dirge uses Torch Song. Does it finish the raid? Not quite. And then the Garchomp finishes it off. Bit uncoordinated in that raid and it wasn't the best choices of Pokemon to take on this electric type because it only has one weakness but we managed to do it with a lot of time remaining looks like we managed to find another raid it's a five star fairy type river room so we're going to begin we do have a special attacker in golden goal that we can assist i'm hoping this golden goal has a setup build we do use intimidate and it is a physical attacker so that's good we're going to start to use acid spray now so it is using nasty plot so it will be a setup pokemon both the tinkertons use the big hammer move i forgot its name already and i've just seen it so we reduced it special defense by two stages the golden goal uses nasty plot again so now it's on plus four special attack we use acid spray now it's on minus four special defense i hope the golden goal attacks here instead of setting up again if it does then the raid should finish the river room does set up its shield unfortunately though it removes negative effects from itself we'll just carry on using our acid spray then we use acid spray we have to start again but that's fine now it's on minus two special defense again golden goal is on plus six special attack on max so it should still kill or take off the shield at least. Golden Go is used to make it rain and it nearly kills on a tiny bit of health left. So any move now should finish it off. The Rever Room has used two shift gears in a row. So that will increase its attack and speed. We're going to use Acid Spray, do a little bit of damage and reduce its special defense by two more stages. Angel uses Flash Cannon. This should finish it off. Angel, I mean Tinkerton. And that's the Rever Room down. Look how much time we have remaining. 
too much time and that's the third raid done if you enjoyed this video make sure to check out this Luxray build that I'm going to put on screen right now a very cool build very fun and I'll catch you on the next one